Hi guys, just me this week. Lakey's having a little holiday down on the Gold Coast. An exciting weekend ahead for our region. Let's take a look at what's on. The highly anticipated Dinosaur Discovery Exhibition finally opens this week in Townsville. Featuring animated life-size dinosaurs, you can have a taste of what it was like to experience life 145 million years ago. The dinosaurs will be sticking around until July next year at the Museum of Tropical Queensland. Spirit of Africa presents some of the best international and local African performers to entertain you for one night only. Carlisle Gardens Theatre will come alive with music and dance this Saturday night. For a truly unique cultural experience, you won't want to miss this. The Perth Tucker Regional Gallery opens a new exhibit this weekend celebrating Townsville's 150th year. Each piece of artwork captures a moment in time for our city making this a very special event. Picturing Townsville runs until mid-January and entry is free. Plenty going on around our region this weekend. Don't forget if there's something else that we should know about, email localnews at 7.com.au. Have a great weekend, we'll see you next week. Time to check back in now with Lisa Fernandez. Lisa, right, spring is here, what should we be wearing? Oh, well, I, I hear from Alana that uh, black and white's very in. Alana, morning. Good morning again, Lise. Tell me what you're wearing. I am wearing classic monochromatic, but as you can see, we've got a, a change up of the textures and the shape. So this is from Q, so one of the uh, Australian retailers that we're supporting here during Fashion Central for I, Telstra Perth Fashion Festival. I love it. This is my favourite. I love that top. Okay, so this is some of the stuff you can come and see at Forest Place today. Chloe uh, is kicking it off. Alana, tell us what Chloe's wearing. So Chloe is wearing a beautiful floral jumpsuit. So prints are massive for the spring summer season, and as you can see, it's got a beautiful split leg at the back here so it dresses it up it looks like a dress and the pants so you can wear that to a wedding or an engagement party and also the embellishment of the metallic waist belt there just to give it a lovely silhouette as well oh, I love that one all right thank you so much Chloe next we have uh, next we've Emma. got Emma she's wearing Q today as well so this is a perfect look for a corporate bit of a nine to five and then obviously you can style it up to go out on a Friday night as well so beautiful pop of color orange is really coming through this season so that's uh, that's going to be a fantastic look if you want to do yes. your nine to five and Lise. also Alana, let me just ask you very quickly um, what uh, what times can we come and see these free shows these free so shows. the free shows are coming yep. uh, on the weekend so yep. Friday Saturday yep. and Sunday so we've got four shows mm -hmm. on Friday yep. Saturday and then the target show in Perth Airport also showcasing on Sunday I love that one okay we have have Bailey. We have Bailey now. She's wearing a gorgeous little dress from Portman's. Now, as you can see, this one's got the peplum waist. Yeah. So that's still a, a really flattering silhouette. And this sort of dress is perfect for the spring summer racing season and also for festive season coming up as well, Lise. Christmas parties and all that sort of stuff. Um, she's got shoes from Novo and as you can see, the floral print's that's still really on trend. This dress is my favourite for sure. Hot little number and yep. I feel like you could pull that off, Lise. It so. certainly is. And Vincent. <laughs> Vincent, come on down. Vincent, so he's wearing cool yep. streetwear from Live. As you can yep. see, it's just got a bit of leather embellishment there on the jacket. So a really cool look with the skinny chinos. It. Great for a guy with some height and some really cool trainers okay. as well. Alana, you're amazing. Thank you so much. I've appointed a new face of country racing, the lovely Alana McLean. Just imagine travelling to exotic locations to attend amazing events, wearing the latest fashions by some of WA's hottest designers. Well, Alana McLean has made that fantasy her reality. Alana, you are the envy of women everywhere. So tell us a little bit more about your role. My role, Maddie, racing and wagering WA together with Tourism WA and Royalties for Regions, create an amazing initiative to really promote the WA regional rounds to race goers and to broader audiences. So I was appointed the face of WA Country Cups and I'm very happy to be involved in it. The local government are bringing new initiatives like the Paul Kelly concert that we had down at Cable Sound. So it's just so exciting to be there and, you know, to have that, uh, that red dirt and then be a stone's throw from that crystal clear blue water. It's just an amazing race. Track. Part of your role is working with some of WA's most amazing designers. Tell us a little bit more about that. I've been so fortunate to work with WA designers, you know, and to be able to promote them in the regional areas, it's been fantastic for their business. So we've had Millen, Rennie Kestel, and uh, local designers, Steph Aldino, Morrison, Aurelio Costarella, and Lewis South Sea Pearls. They've been so supportive of our um, journey throughout the regional areas, so it's been fantastic. And what makes the country races such a great day? 
country races, the excitement that it brings to these communities. You know, they really block their calendars out and they bring their families and you really get to hear a lot of the tradition and the stories and people that have brought, you know, their kids and now their grandkids to the races. It's really lovely to hear some of that background and it's really important to keep that going. Wow, what an awesome role. Excuse me while I get some tips on how to land my dream job. Hey guys, it's Lakey and Lance here. We are live down at the Strand for 500 grand on the Strand, the city's biggest ever cash giveaway. Oh my God, this morning, somebody could be digging up $500,000 just in time for Christmas. It could change someone's life here today, Lakes. Inc including my life, and I'm gonna just dig up a couple of them right you now. You cannot, okay. do not fine, get fine. back here immediately. The pandemonium is about to kick off shortly. We'll see you soon. As it's Lakey and Lance here. We are on our way to Smith and Elliot Real Estate Spare. Uh, they are the lucky winners of our second best bachelor experience. Uh, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I actually applied for the bachelor and just came a sneaky runner up to Richie. Yeah, we can't get them Richie, so we're giving them Lakey. That's exactly what happened. We're delivering the second best bachelor experience. We're so excited about the bachelor premiering tonight, 7.30 on win. We've got the boot chocked full of goodies. We've got 24 long stem red roses. Thanks to Baskets of Delight. We've got morning tea for the whole office. Yep. Thanks to Baker's Delight. And of course, we're getting there in style. Thanks to North Queensland Event Cars. Smith & Elliott Real Estate, we're coming for you. Hi guys, Lakey Lance here. We are at McEwa Townsville with Steve, the general manager having a glorious cocktail right near the pool. Steve, tell us a little bit about the McEwa Townsville. Yeah, look, we think, um, we think the McEwa sort of typifies what Townsville's all about, right? It's about sitting outside in the, in the warm weather, enjoying a cold drink, and we provide that environment here. It's um, we're on 11 acres of tropical gardens. As you said, beautiful big pool. It's the biggest uh, pool in Townsville, biggest freeform pool in Townsville behind us. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great spot to relax. You know, after a day's work or if you've been out sightseeing around towns, what's well, a great place to come and, and kick back and enjoy the enjoy the open spaces that towns yeah. have got to offer. And I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions about hotels like the Mercure is that you can only use the facilities like this if you're a guest. But you're trying to tell the public that you guys are open and that anyone is free to come here for a drink and pop into the pool as well. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, we're open to to Townsville, particularly the rest of where we're sitting here today. The, Celsius restaurant and bar. We're open seven days, breakfast, lunch and dinner, and very much open to the to town's villains. Come and check it out. Bring the kids in for a swim in the pool. You can sit up here and keep an eye on them, have something to eat, have a cold drink, and uh, enjoy all the facilities that McEwa's got to offer. How didn't we know about I this, know. folks? I was going to say. Well, you what... could have been babysitting Jeez. me while I was in the pool <laughs> this whole go. time. We're quite famous for the Kopi Lawak. It's been, um, again, it's probably been around for almost 10 years as well. The tea rooms were one of the first places in the world when it was when it was released, it was one of the first places that you could have it um, back in well 2006 actually. This is coffee that has been from the beans that yeah. have been yeah, ingested so, by yeah. a cat and then excreted, and it goes through a special process to get made into this coffee, yeah. which is very yeah. very rare. So the special process is really when it goes through its digestive juices. So that's what that's what sucks all I guess the um, the bitterness out of the coffee. Well, we can't okay. wait to try it. And also, so you do high teas here as well on Sundays, mm -hmm. and you're also known for your weddings up here as well. Yes, yes. So um, we do a lot of high teas uh, for, say, bridal showers, baby showers, that sort of thing. Uh, so a lot of groups come up for the, for the high teas, um, and then very popular for the weddings. Well, it's a gorgeous setting, can see why. Plenty of activities to do for the kids as well. Beautiful fairy garden <laughs> and a little life-size chessboard that they can play on as yeah. well. So keep the kids entertained while you're drinking your $50 coffee. <laughs> Enough. I must try the Capu coffee <laughs> right now okay, all and right, get into the steak Hang on, no, wait. This is like, we need to cheers oh. it. In typical tea room fashion. <laughs> mm, happy cheers. tea to you. Oh. Oh wow, that's great. It's oh. very velvety. Ooh. Doesn't taste like cat poo at all. <laughs> well, thank goodness for no, that. No, that is beautiful. It's sort of got a bit of a, um, it's like a bit of a chocolatey aftertaste to it. Wow. Well, come down to the Harvey's Range Tea Rooms. You can be tea aficionados and coffee experts all of a sudden, <laughs> like Lance and I. And you can try this caramel scone. Look at the size of these scones. Mm. If there is a day that you need to have a cheat day, it is when you come here and you knock that bad boy off like I'm about to. Mm. Except 
most of my days are cheat days. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come up here. It is so beautiful and uh, you will love your experience. Here at the Harvey Range Heritage Tea Rooms. Cheers. Fantastic. Speaking of footy, it would be remiss of me to have you up here and not have a little chat about footy. Your first season under Adam Simpson, unfortunately falling just outside the eight. Pre-season in full swing. Tell us a little bit about how the boys are shaping up for season 2015. How are we feeling? Yeah, obviously last year we finished ninth, so we want to obviously improve that. So hopefully we can make some finals. Um, the boys, yeah, training, training really well. I unfortunately um, got a bit of a you know, sore foot at the moment, so I'm just sort of taking it easy, and hence why I've been sitting down most of the night. Um, but yeah, I just really, really want to get back onto the track with the guys, because, um, yeah, I'm expecting big things this year. And one final question. Obviously, getting engaged to your lovely fiancé, Corny. Any little wedding plans you want to share with us, guys? How, how's that all progressing? Yeah, I just got asked that just before, actually. <laughs> and he's walked away with the statue for Best Urban Album in 2011. He has released hits that have been thrashed all across this great country, including the two times platinum smash hit Rapunzel and his latest banger, Dance and John Doe. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Draft! <laughs> Hi guys, Alana McLean here with you, the face of WA Country Cups. This season we're heading out to some of the state's most iconic destinations. Along with showcasing the best of WA racing, these towns provide highly anticipated tourist attractions and entertainment, allowing you the chance to really experience a unique West Australian holiday. Stay tuned and I'm going to tell you about all the excitement that you can experience on and off the track in regional WA. Carnival is one of the biggest weeks on the WA racing calendar. It kicks off with the legendary Jimmy Barnes playing at the Bunbury Bayside Speed Concert on Friday the 6th of March. On Saturday the 7th of March you can get involved in all the action and excitement of the Viva Street Party kicking off at 5pm in the main street of Bunbury. On Sunday, it's all about the ladies at Bunbury Stakes Day. There's a $3,000 worth of prizes up for grabs in the Fashions on the Field competition, and you could also purchase a ticket to the Diamond Chimes Marquee for $165 per person. On Thursday, the 12th of March, the record crowns will descend upon the club to watch the $120,000 Bunbury Cup race. A huge week of racing and outside of the racing you can also check out the Dolphins up close and personal at the Dolphin Discovery Centre or head up to Dolphin Aquatic Hire for paddle boarding or cycling. Check out all the details wacountrycups.com.au The Batavia Coast Marina is located in the heart of Geraldton. The Batavia Longboat replica was constructed in 2002 as an exact replica of the one used in 1629. Every Sunday, members of the public and tourists can hop aboard the replica for a trip back in time for what it was like to travel by boat in the 16th century. The Geraldton Foreshore is located along Marine Terrace and there's something here for everyone. For the kids, there's play equipment and a brand new water park. If you like your sports, there's cycling and volleyball. There's barbecue areas, there's shaded areas for those hot Geraldton summer days. And there's also indigenous inspired artwork to check out as well. Today's a highlight on the Geraldton Racing Calendar. The day will feature an exciting nine race program, including the Forex Gold $90,000 Geraldton Cup. Not only will the day feature quality racing, it's also time for fashion, fun and a flutter.
region up, an area that has been largely known for its sheep industry and its wool production. Behind me is a replica of a horse-drawn wool wagon from the 1840s used to transport the wool to markets or depots. Today, Kojanup is still known for its wool industry and produces some of the best merino wool in the world. Cape Le Grand National Park on the Lucky Bay Beach, one of Australia's most beautiful beaches. And the best part about it, you get to hang out with these little guys while you have a sunbake. on the new WA Country Cups fashions on the field competition, check out wacountrycups.com.au or follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I am Milana and I'm with Nikki and with Holly. We are the three faces of WA Country Cups. Make sure you pick up a copy of the West Weekend today for your Perth Fashion Festival lift out. We've had a ball doing this shoot today for Community TAV, the principal partner of Perth Fashion Festival. Cheers, guys. As the sun sets on the Country Cups fashions in the field, the showcase of regional fashions looks set for a bright future.